These are five habits that nearly everyone over 60 does every single day that could be silently destroying your kidneys, increasing your risk of kidney failure by two to three times. What's worse is that there's one habit so common that 93% of seniors are guilty of it. And it's causing kidney function to decline so rapidly that you won't even feel it until it's too late. And here's the scariest part. You might be making these exact mistakes right now without even knowing it. In this video, I'm going to show you the most dangerous habits that are destroying your kidneys, help you recognize the warning signs that your kidneys are being damaged every day, and of course, give you practical advice to improve your kidney health. So stick around until the end, because what I'm about to share could help you avoid 90% of kidney failure risk. For those of you new to my channel, I'm Dr. Saul Whitman, Chief Medical Officer at the Northern Institute for Society Wellness. For over 35 years, I've treated thousands of patients with cardiovascular disease, atherosclerosis, stroke, and hypertension. My mission is to help you live healthier, longer, and better. So let's dive right in. Habit number one, overusing over-the-counter. Pain relievers, especially NSAIDs, this is the most dangerous habit I want to address first. Many people over 60, when they get headaches, joint pain, or back pain, often pop pain relievers without a prescription. Sounds harmless, right? Well, it's actually not. According to research from Harvard Health, if you use NSAIDs daily for three months, your kidney's filtering function can drop by 20 to 25%. A 2022 meta-analysis of 13 studies showed that regular NSAID users have a 1.7 times higher risk of kidney failure. Think of your kidneys like the water filter in your home, the kind you use to get clean drinking water every day. NSAIDs clog up that filter, reducing blood flow through it. If you use them daily, the filter gradually breaks down, but you won't notice it until one day the water isn't clean anymore and starts overflowing dirty water all over your house. And here's what's scary. When you take pain relievers in the morning on an empty stomach, the damage to your kidneys multiplies. Because the medication enters your bloodstream faster, putting greater pressure on your kidneys without any food to act as a protective buffer. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll just take a pain pill for my headache, what's the harm? Well, there's no harm except that you're continuing to destroy your kidneys. Habit number two, drinking too little water. This is a habit I see extremely commonly in many people, especially in my patients over 60. Research in the journal Nephrology Dialysis Transplantation shows that drinking less than one liter of water per day increases kidney failure risk by 28%. That's not a small number, folks. Have you ever tried running a washing machine without enough water? The machine overheats, friction increases, and it breaks down quickly. Your kidneys work the same way. Without enough water, your kidneys have to work twice as hard to filter waste, leading to wear and tear and damage. Here's something alarming. 80% of people over 60 lose their sense of thirst. Your body no longer sends clear signals saying, hey, drink some water like it used to. This causes them to drink too little water without realizing that their thirst sensation also declines with age. This means you think you're hydrated enough, but your kidneys are actually parched and you don't even know it. And this is why so many elderly people develop kidney stones, urinary tract infections, and kidney failure without understanding why. My advice, don't wait until you're thirsty to drink water. Drink 1.5 to 2 liters of water every day Spread throughout the day, don't chug it all at once. Especially first thing in the morning when you wake up, drink a glass of water before doing anything else, including having your coffee. I know you want coffee first, I do too, but please have water first, then your coffee. Habit number three, eating foods with too much salt every day. Yet another incredibly common habit that so many people fall into. Most people don't realize 90% of the salt you consume doesn't come from the salt shaker on your table, but from canned foods, bread, cheese, and even pastries. One deli sandwich or hot dog can contain five to six grams of salt. That's more than the entire daily recommended amount in just one meal. Major health organizations around the world have warned us about this repeatedly. The WHO recommends consuming less than five grams of salt per day, but in reality, Many people consume way more than five grams. 
The international pure study shows that elderly adults are consuming a whopping 9 to 12 grams of salt per day. That's terrible. It's double the recommended amount. Imagine washing dishes with your faucet on high pressure constantly. At first, the dishes get clean quickly, but over time, the pipes will start leaking and cracking from too much pressure. Similarly, with eating salty foods, salt forces your kidneys to increase filtering pressure, and over time, this leads to decreased blood filtration function. My advice, limit canned foods, processed foods, and pre-made seasonings. Instead, cook at home with natural spices. They're delicious and won't harm your kidneys. Habit number four, holding your urine, especially in the morning. This is a habit many people do without thinking it's harmful. A study in the Urology Journal found that holding urine for extended periods increases urinary tract infection risk by three times, and infection is the leading cause of acute kidney failure in the elderly. Imagine you have a water tank at home. If you let water sit too long without changing it, bacteria will multiply. Your bladder works the same way. When you hold your urine, it sits stagnant, giving bacteria a chance to grow and travel up to your kidneys, causing infection. And when you wake up in the morning, your bladder is already full of urine from overnight. If you don't urinate right away and instead go have breakfast, exercise, or start working first, you're putting pressure on your kidneys and bladder. My advice, urinate as soon as you feel the urge. Don't hold it. Especially in the morning, urinate before doing anything else. I know sometimes you're busy, but your kidneys can't wait. Besides, who wants to hold their pee anyway, right? Because everything else becomes less important when we need to use the bathroom. Habit number five, not getting enough sleep. Another bad habit that's very common, especially among younger and middle-aged people. According to the American Journal of Kidney Diseases, people who sleep less than six hours per night have a 1.5 times faster decline in kidney function. During sleep, your kidneys go into maintenance mode. Just like taking your car to the garage for servicing, your kidneys need downtime to self-repair and rebalance their functions. No sleep equals no maintenance leading to faster breakdown. Furthermore, lack of sleep increases blood pressure, reduces blood sugar control, and increases inflammation risk, all of which harm your kidneys. My advice, sleep seven to eight hours every night. Create a consistent bedtime routine, avoid phone screens before bed, and create a comfortable sleep environment. And parents, if your kids or grandkids stay up late to work or watch shows, let them know how seriously that affects their kidneys. A scary truth you need to know? Kidney failure is truly scary, but here's something even scarier. 85% of people with early stage kidney disease have no symptoms. You're still eating well, sleeping normally, feeling no pain, but your kidneys are silently losing 50% of their filtering capacity without you knowing it. That's why these small habits matter so much. They don't cause immediate pain, but they accumulate over time and destroy your kidneys slowly, silently. So what can you do to protect your kidneys? Here are five safe alternatives you can start today. First, when you have a headache, limit your dependence on NSAIDs. Use heat therapy, physical therapy, gentle massage, or ask your doctor about acetaminophen or Tylenol if necessary. Second, drink 1.5 to 2 liters of water daily, Spread throughout the day, not all at once. Especially drink a glass of water as soon as you wake up. Third, limit salt. Avoid canned foods and fast food. Cook at home with natural seasonings. Fourth, urinate as soon as you feel the urge. Don't hold it, especially in the morning. Fifth, sleep seven to eight hours every night. Establish a regular bedtime routine and a comfortable sleep environment. Conclusion. So there you have it. I've shared with you the bad habits for your kidneys, along with solutions to help protect and strengthen your kidney health. If you found today's video helpful, please share it with your loved ones so they can also learn how to avoid these dangerous habits. Don't forget to like the video so it gets recommended to more people and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future health tips. Remember, your kidneys are silent heroes. They filter about 200 liters of blood every day without complaint. So treat them well. 
I'm Dr. Saul Widman, and I'm here with you on your journey to a healthier and happier life every day. If you have any health questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them. See you in the next video.